What's going on all you gamers, today I'll be going over how you can manage to unlock those relics for your chosen characters in Anvil Vault Breakers. So if you're missing a lot of relics and just can't work out how to kind of get them, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back we gamers, as always for things gaming, for things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon, I'll bring you all the latest and greatest content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews of upcoming games. But for today I'm here to show you how you can manage to fill up those missing relics that you just can't seem to obtain. Now just in case you don't know the relics I'm talking about, if we go over to here and you click on this, it's going to give you all of the relics that you can unlock during your course of playing the game. Now, literally, like I just told you there, playing the game is how you unlock them, and you will eventually have them all, but it's not quite as easy as it sounds. I've played for roughly a week now, and I've still got an absolute abundance to get, and there's a big reason for that. So one of the main reasons will probably be that you're choosing to play one class over the others a little bit more preferably. For example, this one right here is a very tanky class, the Mountain. So if I go into him and show you his relics, to get all four of those unlocked, I have to complete all of the galaxies in the game. So the first galaxy, the second galaxy, and the third. Completing the first galaxy is going to unlock those two on the left hand side. Completing Symphonia, the second galaxy is going to open the one on the right hand side. And finally, if you complete the very last galaxy, you'll have all four unlocks. So basically, if you go up to here, you're going to look at these. Cerny will be first, that will give you two unlocks. Just up there, Symphonia. And last but definitely not least is Campanella, and that's going to give you all four of the unlocks to equip some really nice powerful relics, meaning your character will start off very very strong when you enter those missions. So jumping over to a character I've been playing most with and that's Lightning, a really nice DPS character and very good for that dodge move. And if I go over to here, I've not quite completed that last galaxy yet as it is very tough and I'm waiting for the update on Xbox to make things a little bit better. But as you can see, I've got three out of the four relics. Really nice, but how do we get the actual relics that we want? So jumping back over to here, like I said, I've got quite a few of them, but I'm missing even more. The reason for that is because I'm not picking them up as I'm playing the game. You'll tend to find ones that you find more favourable or you really enjoy picking up because it's going to make your build very strong. So say for example this one right here, the Prime Inner Suit. Whenever that comes up, if I can pick it up and I've got enough, I tend to grab it because it's going to give you a big chunk to your health increase, especially if you're playing with a tank. Another one, this one right here. Big Shield Greaves generates a shield equivalent to 25% of max HP for 15 seconds on perfectly timed survival skill. On Lightning, that one is absolutely amazing. Some of the ones that I've picked up, for example, these ones just up here, I will equip and pick up whenever I can or whenever I can put them into a build. But because I'm picking these ones up so often, it means that these ones, for example, Medal of Peace, increase attack power by 15% for 5 seconds when weapon is not in use for 3 seconds. Most times, even though that is quite a nice little increase, I'm not picking it up. I'm picking something over it when I'm playing the game. Same with some of these other ones. Recover 3 rounds of ammo per second. That one's pretty good, you can pick it up, but if I'm using a build that's already got infinite magazine on it, I'm never going to pick this one up. If you're not picking these items up, then you'll never acquire them as a relic. When you're going into the missions, you're going to want to make sure that you're picking up the ones that you want to be able to unlock. So the strongest one for your classes, the ones you're missing, whatever ones that you really want to start off with in your build, those will be the ones that you want to pick up during your runs, and that way they will eventually unlock. Now I'd love to say it only takes one time, but again it's down to RNG. It could be once, it could be twice, it could be 10 times you have to pick them up during your missions in order for them to unlock at the end of the mission. Now another thing to note, you don't have to complete the mission. As long as you're picking these up as you go, as long as you're working out which ones you want to grab, they can still give you them at the end of the mission even if you fail the mission. As you can see in the background just here, we got absolutely nuked by this boss, completely fell over, but even so, I've managed to get a reward of something that I haven't got. Especially for those completionists, if you're trying to get all of the relics unlocked, you're definitely going to want to go out of your way, probably to jump into the first world, which is a little bit easier, and unlock ones that may not make your build quite as powerful as you originally would have if you'd have picked all of the same ones you've already unlocked. 
but it will mean that you have a chance of getting some of the ones that you previously wouldn't have been able to because you're just not picking them throughout your travels. All in all, I found probably the first planet the best way to unlock them, but just remember as a guide, if I jump back over again, if you have a look here, the first galaxy, Cerny, is only going to be able to net you these rewards right here, so you will be missing a few of them out. The second Symphonia has the largest by a long way, so you're going to be able to obtain all of these right here. So if you're missing any, Symphonia is the way to go if they're on this list and you can't achieve them any other way. Finally, Campanella seems to give you pretty much all of the higher end ones. So if there's any that you really, really are missing out on and you want to be able to have much more of a chance of acquiring them, probably going to Campanella, as long as your build is strong enough, will be the way forward and you'll be able to pick them up. But as you can see, we have pretty much all of the best stuff in the game here. So you can make some crazy builds, even though in Campanella, you don't really get much money to do it. So if you're trying to get them fast, I would definitely recommend probably Xerni to get the ones that you can that are in here. For example, say that one right here, a Brawler's Gold Tooth. I'm still aiming to get that. Really, really good. I've picked it up numerous times and never seem to get it at the end of the actual battle. But I'm going to keep trying and I'm going to write it down on a bit of paper just so I know what I'm after. Like I said, First Galaxy is definitely the easiest to get, but you won't be able to acquire everything. Then you're going to have Symphonia, which looks like it pretty much has everything. So this could be a nice place to get as long as your build is strong enough to actually achieve running Symphonia. And finally, last but not least, Campanella. But like I said, you won't be picking many of these up. You're only going to be picking up one, maybe two at a time it at a push I would say because you just don't get much money so the first two may be the way forward right well you guys and girls hopefully that's helped a few of you out I wish there was a faster way but unfortunately at the moment there's not but they will be doing updates and such so if they do change things I'll let you guys and girls know as always full things gaming full things Xbox take care I'll see you on the next day